But since there is so much immorality, each man should have his own wife, and each woman her own husband. The husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife, and likewise the wife to her husband. The wife's body does not belong to her alone, but also to her husband. Likewise, the husband's body does not belong to him alone, but also to his wife. 1 Corinthians 7, 1, 2, 4. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Ifechi family. Today's video is leading on from the one I uploaded regarding bringing up teenagers. And because of the demise of a teenager that has been on the YouTube or on social media, so to say, that happened last week. We all know who I'm talking about, so I'm not going to mention the name, but I'm just using that as a case study for us to see what we can learn from that unfortunate incident. Obviously, the young man concerned who was 16 was from a family where there's pro there's problem between his father and mother. And that means, or that meant that the, his father went out of the family home and was with another woman. Now, we don't know the exact reason, exact cause of his demise. So I'm not here to speculate what may or may not have happened. However, I just want to discuss some of the negative effects parental issues can have on their children, especially when they are teenagers. It starts from when they are younger, but when they are teenagers, it becomes more difficult for teenage children to understand what is going on. Changes in family can unsettle and upset children and make them feel insecure about themselves. They may feel angry, anxious, depressed, or feeling of anxiety. And these feelings can affect other areas of their lives, especially their school and friendship. You know, children can be so cruel, they can just say things to, those, uh, to the children and they will internalize them. They will not want to share with their parents when they come home because they think that they are already going through a lot. They don't want to talk about it. They just internalize things and it can be hurting them. Let me just say that I'm using the recent event as an example, but I'm just generalizing things because believe you me, things like this happen, it keeps happening in families. So we only heard about this because it came out in social media, but situations like this and even worse happens all the time. So other ways that these things can affect children are it makes them to have irrational fears. They are always afraid what's going to happen next. And it's not good. It's not fair on these children. It can lead, so, uh, it can lead to intrusive thoughts. And intrusive thoughts are things like unwanted uh, thoughts that can pop into people's head from time to time. They are not good uh, thoughts. It can just come in at any time. They will start thinking of things. And that sometimes leads people or children to doing something silly to themselves or horrible to themselves. Because those thoughts will just come. Or oh, maybe they will start blaming themselves. Maybe it's because of me. Oh, I'm, be I'm better off not around. So they can, maybe if I'm not here, they will sort themselves out on all the rest of it. Please, this can have a detrimental effect on children. So let's think about this. Another th effect that this can have on kids is that children, kids stop being kids. Children stop being children. They, they grow, they mature quicker than they should. And it's not fair. Children should mature gradually according to their age. Not start handling family or per uh, parents' uh, situation at the age of, you see some as young as 8, 9, 10. It's not right. They just mature. They want to be the adult there because their parents are not behaving properly. 
and they grow up so quickly and this that is not good they need to grow up according to their age don't put that responsibility on them it's not fair and it's not good for their sanity it's not good another thing that can cost on children is that they can start having antisocial behaviors you know doing things that they should, they were not even brought up to be doing or can't even think of doing when they were in a loving family relationship they start doing a, a lot of uh, things antisocial behaviors they may start having nightmares as well these are the some of the things that can affect children so let's think about this so i'm here to just give us general advice you know husband and wife if you start having any issue or you notice that there's problem starting after you've been married for a while and you've had your children or even before when you're raising up your children or even before you start having children, talk about it. Communication is very key. Try and maintain that your, you know, the, the oath you took in front of people. When you said I do, you said I do to one person, not to some women. But when you decide to change that oath, get your wife involved and tell her the reason why you want to do what you do. Let nothing come as a surprise because that can be heartbreaking and that can be damaging to the children. Always discuss, communicate. If you're bold enough to go and start messing around, then be bold enough to tell your wife, sit her down and discuss. And vice versa, because I heard that there are some women who want to have more than one husband. I don't know. That is not as common as men wanting, uh, you know, going on for the second woman. I know that they will say, oh, it's in the Bible. A lot of people decide to stick with Old Testament. So let's use them as contact point, this family, to pray for other families who are going through the same problem. Because trust me, there's a lot going on out there that we don't even hear. Let us be more prayerful. As a family, as husband and wife, uh, as children, let us all be very prayerful. A lot of horrible things are happening. So that my, if you don't get anything from what I've said today, the fact that we have to be more prayerful. Stop pursuing the wind. Stop going, looking out for uh, fame and looking out for the best car and best house and all the rest of it. Those things, yes, they're okay for our living, but they're not the important thing. The important thing is that we pray and we'll be alert. Because we do not fight with men and women compounded in flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yes, they are there. Well, we should not be ignorant of these things. So please commit these three children left behind. Commit their parents. No matter what your opinion is about them, please pray for them. Instead of going on social media and saying all sorts of things, Half of them are not true. Even most of them are not true. The important thing for that they need now is our prayers. I've been praying for them. Even if they are your enemies, pray for them. The important thing is that we stand with this family in prayer, especially for the sake of those three children remaining. And then use them as contact point to pray for others who are going uh, through similar situations. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone, for listening. And I'll see you again in my next one. Goodbye and God bless.